what's up guys today we're going to be transferring all the motoblock stuff out of the Biltwell lane splitter and putting it in the Icon Air Mata and hopefully it sounds a lot better as far as audio goes Icon Air Mata is a lot more tighter helmet a lot more sealed up so uh, hopefully that works out but we're going to give you a step by step and show you how to outfit a helmet um, to start motoblogging so this is going to be you know, putting a mic in, uh, putting your mic adapters for the Hero 5s and up, and getting all that laid out so you can have some good clean audio and video. So let's check out the helmets. So this is the old Motovlog helmet set up. It's a Biltwell Lane Splitter. Um, and what I had to do to get some good clean audio is all the vents on the inside are uh, blocked off. Um, I had to run tape inside there to get some good clean audio at speed but yeah the mic setup um, actually has the foam backing the foam cover and a dead cat on it uh, to get rid of that distortion so and the mic is a giant squid uh, it's a mono Mic. Those are the only mics that I've seen that work with the GoPro Hero 5s and up, all the blacks. Uh, right here's an 18. I'm filming on a 7. So, yeah, what we're going to do is, is pull the mic out of here, which you have to get the, the inner liner out. We'll pull the mic out and pull this mount off and go from there and start outfitting the new Icon Air Mata helmet with our stuff so cue time lapse so that's it we got everything out um, this is the microphone uh, with the dead cat I use just a little double-sided tape to keep it secured in the helmet but what you want to do is you want to route this in behind all the pads that way it's not in the way when you're taking it on and off so and we got the mount off the front. So let's get this Aircon Imata, Aramata, um, all stripped down on the inside and start laying this stuff in there. So we got it all stripped down inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to run everything just like we had it in the Biltwell Lane Splitter. But every most helmets uh, come with removable liners that you can take out to run uh, audio bluetooth Cena, stuff like that so let's get this laid out and go from there <laughs> the mic run uh, what you do is just just leave it loose for now um, that way when you mount up your GoPro where you want to put it which I haven't decided yet um, you'll have a little slack for that audio cable from uh, the microphone so you can kind of fine-tune it after that but I'm not sure if we're gonna use all of this mount or just kind of go straight up because it's pretty pretty flat here on the front of this helmet and that's why I wanted to go with a helmet like that so um, let's play around with the mounting situation and get it stuck decided to go with the same mount setup that I used before it's been pretty pretty good on me so um, the shield closes and opens without hitting it uh, it's a little bit higher that's where I wanted it to be so um, the next thing we'll do 
is throw the GoPro adapter on the side here and we need to find a spot to run some Velcro. And what I've used before, which really works good, is you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get this industrial grade uh, Velcro and it's rated to like 100 pounds or 15 pounds or something crazy. So um, this stuff is really good. It's, it's cheap, it's 10 or $15. Uh, I'll try to put links in the description for uh, the Velcro to use for the mic adapter. And we'll put a link in, in here with this mount. I always get questions about what kind of mount this is. And it's just a uh, Amazon mount. So um, helmet mount. If you go on Google and just GoPro helmet mount, just Google it. It, it will show up. But I'll put a link in the bottom of the description. So let's get this mic adapter mount it on the other side and that way we can uh, clean up the inside of the helmet and we're almost done with this one. set up and ready for action uh, it's very simple to set one of these helmets up what you really need to do though is turn on the GoPro before you start filming with this mic adapter and also make sure you have a mono mic uh, the only one I could find that works was a giant squid mic that's what everybody uses as success with these things but yeah, that's all it takes to set up a motovlog helmet. It's pretty simple. So we're going to go test this guy out and make sure everything works. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you think. Take it easy.